Tech.com. In this episode, we're going to do a revision on the um, Apple Pencil holder for the iPad Pro. So, had some challenges with the first one, I think, as you've seen in the first video, printing out some of that, the, the smaller clip proportion. So, wh what I've done is designed one with a larger clip proportion and uploaded this to Thingiverse. So, uh, what I want to do is uh, I've printed this out on the the Wanhao as well as the Da Vinci uh, with the larger clip as you can see here printed out just fine on the Da Vinci uh, as well as the Wanhao and Pet. So uh, let's hop over to the Wanhao, then the Da Vinci, watch some time lapses, and then we'll come back after those and we'll take a look at the results, sort of where we were and how we got here. I think it's kind of interesting and so you can kind of get some ideas of the results that we saw from the small clip and moving to the larger one. I'm also working on another version of this uh, to improve some of the aesthetics. Again, this is a bit of work in progress. And again, put some comments below. If there's specific things you'd like to see or me to include with this, let me know. I'm happy to do it. A lot of fun working with SCAT. I really enjoy it. I really like making customizers for a thing of her. So again, if you got a request, put it down below. With that said, let's shoot over to the one how and take a look at how this thing uh, is going to work. Okay, so now we're back at the one how. We've had to do some redesigns to the uh, the Apple Pencil clip. So let's uh, take a quick look at the uh, time lapse video of this being printed. And then what I'm also going to do is shoot over to the Da Vinci. We finally got it to print with this modification of the Da Vinci. And then we'll cut over, if I get my finger in there, we'll cut over that way to the uh, workbench. And then we'll kind of compare all these together and talk about the differences and some more modifications I'm going to need to make and why I was having some of the problems from the last video. So let's head over to the Da Vinci. So here we are back at the Da Vinci. So uh, we finally got these to print out on the Da Vinci. So what we, again, I had to modify the model a bit um, because the um, there's something with the clip just being too small. And I think it was just because it was too thin and, and the way it came to the point, it just really messed up the slicers. So uh, I had to make it larger. And the other problem is even though I got to print in PLA and everything, there just wasn't enough resiliency in the um, in the clip to, to hold on. I mean, I printed a number of them, and in 10 minutes they would break in use. So, uh, you know, I just accepted that I had to go larger. Now, one of the things in the updated model, which is going to go up on Thingiverse, which will be up there by the time this comes out, is I'm going to change this so you can alter the shape of the actual clip itself. So um, be on the lookout for that. Also, um, the other thing I did is I remember back to a Chuck Hellebuck video where he was talking about the rocket and the way that the tip came out. Um, to help, I printed two of these, you know, so it gave it cooling time between jumping and, and uh, you know, uh, you could feel the um, surface area. This It really came out actually pretty nice. So, um, anyways, let's uh, jump over to the workbench. We'll take a look at these with the pencil and uh, talk about pros, cons, what I would do differently, and we'll go from there. See you over at the workbench. Okay, welcome back. We're um, recording back here at the test bench, and so one of the things that uh, uh, I wanted to share and that led me down this other road is uh, just take a look at that. So this, this is a PET-G implementation. So now, um, Actually, because because the you might remember from the other video, so I had the uh, PLA version. It broke rather quickly, because you can you can see how thin this was, and so uh, I attempted to print it in PET G, and this is as best as I could get. Um, I mean, I made several attempts. You can see the base comes out okay. However, this uh, clip just really had a problem with it. And I tried, I mean, I, I, I printed more than I have here. I tried different speeds, I tried different temperatures, and this is the best I could get. Now, I ran the model through um, NetFab for the DaVinci, and I was able to get this far. And you notice the base, again, comes up very nice. The start, and, and look at this. The start of this actually comes out, starts to come out well, then it just turns into this gobbledygook. So 
that didn't work. And again, just various of the same, We're trying different settings and stuff like that. So it was very clear that I had to beef up this, this clip to get it to print out and also to be resilient. I, I did want it to be thinner. Now I did, this is the result of, if I get it in frame here, of beefing up the clip and printing it out in pet G it comes out beautiful. It's, it's, it's like this translucent. Now the one thing I'll give you a little bit of heads up is you probably want to open up the diameter. I had to clean this one out a little bit. I would probably uh, knock this up a hundredth of a millimeter or two um, because the PETG seems to be a little bit tighter than the PLA uh, around the barrel. So again, I had to clean this up. Uh, and then actually what I did is I took uh, and heated it up with a heat gun and then slid it on and then it got a, a perfect fit. That's probably what I would suggest doing anyway because you, you do want a tight fit on this. So what I do is suggest to heat, heat up this piece, remove it from the heat, then take your pencil and then press it in and it should be. You're doing this all at your own risk, mind you. It is a hundred dollar pencil. A lot of money for a pencil, isn't it? Anyways, um, then you slide it in and you get a very tight fit. So here we have the ABS version from the Da Vinci on there. So um, again, it came out very nice. The, the look is a little bit interesting. I am going to make some modifications to the um, uh, uh, SCAD script to make this round and kind of cut this out so it has a little bit different dimension and uh, go from there. Now, one of the interesting things I want to show you guys, so um, this does fit well if you adjust it like this. Now, <laughs> I don't mean to paraphrase Donald Trump, but, you know, I, I do have larger hands. And, um, you know, this, this makes it fit well in my hand because this, this triangular piece sits in the crux of my hand. And, and actually, for writing, it, it really <laughs> does pretty good. And then... Um, and then it obviously it won't roll and it will stick in a shirt pocket so again this kind of gangly sticking out there um i'm trying and again i'm going to make this so you can in in the uh, customizer script change the shape of the clip so if you've done one of these and you want to do another one check back uh, again i'll be working on this kind of a little bit steadily and um you know with some changes and, and so if you guys know or can think of something aesthetically to to change this you know let me know in the comments below now I, i'll give you a heads up because you know on this version which broke i tapered this down so it, it you know was more aesthetic it, that was one of the big parts of the problem with this because you see the taper on this there's something in the, this taper that it doesn't like and you can see uh how long this one lasts so uh yeah, it didn't, and again, these were just handling around the, you know, shop office here, so it, uh, but anyways, uh, so it has to be this full width to give it the resiliency not to break, because um, you probably saw, just even getting this off, getting its, it's made off the bed of the Da Vinci, this piece broke, so it is very light here. Um, you know, one of the things, I'm not a fan of acetone smoothing, but if you did it in ABS, and you are a fan of acetone smoothing, that might be an option actually to bring some of the layers together. Um, also, I might try printing this a little bit differently. Actually, I'm, I'm thinking about maybe printing it with supports, printing it this way up or or on its side to change the direction of the um, the uh, filament. You know, because obviously there's, there's a band here and, and, and that's what's breaking because there's no real good join between the, the two. So if this was more of a injection molded piece, obviously it would be like 10 times as strong. So um, again, just kind of thinking through it. So hey, if you got comments, hit me up below. If you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up. Check out the updated Thingiverse script, customizer script, if you have one of these bad boys. And subscribe. We'll be doing a lot more of this. Um, also, like in, in the last version of this video, again, let me know a little bit more down there if you'd like an SCAD uh, channel, and uh, we'll go from there. So, see ya. And subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.